What is up guys? Welcome back. Alright, I'm getting impatient. I, I fucked up my recording so many times because I cannot talk in the morning. It's just it's just so so bad. Um, so whatever happens, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on YouTube, alright? Yeah, welcome back to my to my uh, what, what video is this? Oh, my, my daily update video. See, I'm I'm retarded in the morning. Like I my brain is not functioning properly in the morning. Um for those of you that are new, I share my progression and I share my daily plans every single day um, with you guys and also some some of the things about um, you know maybe some videos that I want to make today so first things first my 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 monsters I'm going to number one goal for today I'm going to raise my water nightmare to level 60 max level and after I do raise her this will probably take me half a day and after I raise her to level 60 I'm going to work on my um, my next six star is probably going to be a, be the fire Arthur, but it also might be some other um, healer that I want to raise. If if I do plan to raise the dark hero next, I'm probably going to hold off on um, on making a six star and just use this chance to make more make more um, make more money and also get more the more of the star stones um, because I need to make at least two more six stars before I can have a a proper team. Um, of four monsters, like a main team of four monsters. But I'm I'm kind of like not I'm kind of iffy about using the Fire Arthur for Golem's B10 because I I really do need to have a defense break, a reliable defense break, and his defense break is not that reliable. It's only a 60% chance, and it's tied to his second skill, so he's not going to be able to use it a lot, and therefore I'm not going to be able to keep the defense break on the boss a lot. Um, but the other reason that a lot of people like to use him is because he's able to stun one of the units on the first turn and that stops, that really helps your team um, not die to all the all the nuke that the um, enemy is going to do on, on their first turn because um, only three monsters will be hitting you. But I'm I'm not that worried about um, getting through the level because I've actually played through it. I just, I, f I feel that the boss is a lot harder than the actual level so I'm kind of more focused towards that, and I do think I need a really reliable armor break um, in order to do that. And I'm there's not a lot of monsters that have like reliable armor breaks on their first skills. Like I've I've pretty much checked through all the monsters. Um, they're usually 60%. One, some of the other monsters that I have access to that have higher percent armor break are the Light Wild Thing, who has an 80% armor break and also a shock. This is very nice for. Um, helping you get through the level as well. It also helps you get through the level faster because shock is pretty much stun plus armor break. Um, and and or the the wood Gatito who has a hundred percent armor break on his first skill, but his second skill is kind of useless. So I'm not I'm not too sure about that. Um, definitely need to just build my Dark Sea Star for a little bit more crit, and I'm probably gonna have to switch out my Nightmares runes to to. To do like full HP, I I tried to put like one defense rune, but I, I realized that he actually doesn't need it, so I'm probably gonna take out this rune and just put in a an HP rune, and then I'm gonna have to rerune everyone, even if it's like broken set, I'm just gonna have to rerune everyone with five star runes, and then just like get them to plus twelve. Um, and if I really want to go ham, I might just like you know just push it to plus fifteen just so I can do golems, and then I just farm golems for a long time, and you know I'll replace those runes eventually. Um, not sure which healer I want to raise. I, I need to raise one more healer. The, the three healers I have access to are these three. I have her on evil 2, um, the water siren is at evil 3, and my dark hero I can get to evil 2 very very soon once I get all the gleams from the event, the the monthly, the and the, um, the t tower of chaos. I'll be able to get her to evil 2 as well. I'm kind of leaning towards her because I think She's a monster I'm definitely going to get to evil 3 in the future. And for, out of all their skill sets, I do think her skill set is the strongest. Um, morale boost without having to crit. This is basically like a better version of the Fire Kira's first skill. And SP Siphon is, is super, super strong in my opinion. Uh, not, a lot, not a lot of monsters have this, but this basically makes it so your team regains their SP bar a lot faster. And if they're able to get their SP bar a lot faster, it means more heals, more more AoE nukes, more AoE everything. Um, so yeah, really really nice monster. Kinda leaning towards her. If I 
If I don't plan to 6-star my Fire Arthur, I'm probably going to hold off on 6-starring until Dark Day comes around, which is basically tomorrow. It's going to be tonight, and it's going to be tomorrow. Um, so I'll have a lot of time to, to farm up. And I think this time I'll, de I'll definitely be able to farm a lot harder and get 50 Dark, dark Stones. And I can definitely raise her to 6-stars. So if I don't plan to 6-star my Arthur, um, the rest of the day I'm probably just going to keep farming Star Stones and I'll try to make more gold. Alright, so that's pretty much it in terms of progression. Um, a little bit about my channel. I'm actually, I'm actually really happy that a lot of, a lot of the, um, I'm getting a lot more comments, a lot more engagement, and there's when I started this the series yesterday for like monster spotlights, um, someone already emailed me already. So I'm gonna definitely be doing those as well. I might do two of those today, and um, probably something along the lines of a light jack. Light, um, light Jack and a Fire Wild Fang. Wait, I do have the Wild Light Jack, right? Yeah, see, I, I do have a Light Jack that I can do a spotlight on, and also the Fire Wild Fang. Um, some the 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 person that emailed me um, sent me some info for for a Fire Fire Wild Fang video at Evo 2 that he uses to farm Golem's B9, but I, I don't think I can effectively farm B9 yet, so I might just try it out in like a in a different dungeon. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, the n the next upload like is probably going to be a little bit later because I'm actually heading out right now. I'm, I'm, I'm planning to... well, not planning, but I'm going to church. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm I'm Christian. Been Christian for a long time and I, I'm going to church and I'll be back in the afternoon to make more videos. So that's pretty much it. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out.